Hello and welcome to Eyewitness Report on Channels Television. I am Chris Elams. Today, roads in Ikorodu, Lagos, awaits the touch of the new administration as users lament their deplorable state. As the relevant authorities issued flawed alert in the country, residents and business owners around Ajuan, Iju Waterworks and Alagbole in Ogun State call on the Ogun State government to pay attention to the river channels in those access. Join us for these and more on Eyewitness Report. I am Chris Elams. Our first story for today takes us to the Kurdu area of Lagos, where roads users feel disconnected from the state government. Maybe if you try traveling down the Berigbe from Itamaga through Ijede, Eleshi, and Elekbe, you will understand what the people feel. We visited, and here's what we met on ground. The Ikorudu area of Lagos continues to attract attention, considering its strategic location and the seemingly constant influx of Lagosians to this axis. However, the locality appears bereft of supporting infrastructure, as most of the inner roads are in dire need of fixing. One of such is the Ijeda Road, which according to the residents has not felt government presence in a long time. The bumps, the ditches, potholes as you may call it, are setbacks to smooth travel on this stretch all the way to Berry Bear. The stories from here are endless and are quite sad too. In fact, this is a terrible place. This is a terrible road. It has spoiled all our cars. See my car key. I can't go out with the car. The car has spoiled. My wife's car has spoiled also. We are even lucky no rain now. Assuming you came here during the rainy season, we can't move out at all. This place will be flooded. If you enter with your car, it's going to take your car at the middle. So we are appealing to the government. They should come and help us here. Right from Berigbe to Itamaga. Now, this, before this, this road uh, gets to this uh, 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 situation, right from Berigbe to Itamaga, it won't take you less than just 10 minutes. Now you spend an hour plus. I even talking going, there's no rain today. If there was rain, it could have been totally different. So most people living in these houses, they could not go out with their car anymore. They have to park their car at home, going out with bike, or what they used to call Okada. Even this place is even fairer a little bit. If you go further ahead to Berigbe Aziz, they cannot come out anymore through this road. Some people trek from Ijede, Berigbe, to Itamaga. So it's total disaster on this road. These residents, currently nurses and injury, claims to have sustained while applying the road on a motorbike. On, uh, on Monday this week, so I went, I went out with uh, Okada, so I get an uh, accident for this road. This is bad, this is bad road. It's a bad road. The road is not, is not good. I'm trying to uh, beg uh, our, our gov government to come and take our this road. I, 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 lost, I, lo I lose money. After I get accident, I went to hospital. I spent money. I spent, I spent many, many things. I spent, I spent money on hospital. I beg the uh, government to come and take care of our road. The road is a bad road. While the complaints mount, they appeal to the Lagos state government not to forget them. There is a lot of deficit of infrastructure in this area. We have written a letter to, during the Amber Day that they should come and do something here. In fact, this road, thank God that uh, the rain is not too much. If the rain is too much, all our area there is flooded up. So we've been trying to, in fact, the new uh, governor that came on board, 
you talk to him that we are going to he say they are, they, are, they are doing the road stage by stage. But if you look at this place from here down to Itamaga, uh, you cannot take your car during the rainy season because you need to incur a lot of expenses on your vehicle. I'll be calling them nothing. In fact, the chairman of local government that uh, put some palliative measure on this road. In fact, it was just a to to uh, total rubbish. Because the man came around and looked at it, I said, I was now calling, I said, why? Look at the road you don't know how many months ago. And I said that uh, after the rain, they will come around. In fact, I'm not happy at all. We will repeat, we continue to repair our vehicle every day display. The shock absorber, the ball joint and other things. Is that they say that they say government they are not helping us. They are not helping us. They are not helping us at all. So we've been crying. To, they should come around, take care of the because the state the scheme belongs to the Lagos State government. We did a lot of things on our own. You buy even when it comes to electricity, you buy, you buy pole, you buy uh, aluminum conductor. You do everything by yourself. Nothing, nothing is happening. Very bad. Angola Road. Accessing the Beribe access is a bit difficult, but this next video shows what the people have suffered around there. The water has blocked the road. Look at where they are coming out from. They are coming out from the streets instead of the main road. This is the main road where they are supposed to follow. So they have to go through these uh, streets in order for them to bust out from another street to link the main road. Come and see how worse this road is. Eh? Very, very worse. We find it very difficult to be going out. Put on how bad this road is. Eh? Come here, please come and help us. We need you people here, please. Ojone yi, on fi yate wa, agurakbe rikbe, lati, ko shona lara, yi damune, eba wa shodone, kodwe ore, e jon tori on law, eman fi yate wa na. Anybody A part of the stretch is completely cut off, and to continue your journey, you will need to navigate through some inner roads and back to the major road again. This tells how much of neglect the people have suffered and the need for immediate intervention. In the last few months, the Owutu Ishawa Arekbo Road Axis around the Agri bus stop area of Ikorudu was in the front burner, and eyewitness reports visited for the on the spot assessment. But not too long after, the Lagos State Government stepped in with a palliative measure and a promise that the project will be attended to.
But how far has that gone? We we'll visited again for update. One major road that evokes so much attention in the last few months is the Owutu Ishawa Arepo Road in the agric area of Ikorudu. For months, motorists mourned their losses and residents suffered untold hardship until a palliative by the Lagos state government came their way. Upon our return to the area, though it hadn't rained for a while, the road has become motorable again and the stress bearable. Mr. Sunday Abiodun and his counterpart are residents of the area that bring us up to speed with the development here. It has been a very horrible experience, but after the Governor, I've seen the reaction of the people when the high report came. They came, they are, they, they came in to do so the palliative, and uh, now we can pass. We can move through the road easily, and the travel time has really reduced, or compared to before. Even the cost of uh, transportation that went up has gone come down a little bit, and I want to say a very big thank you to the governor, because for now we can see him as a listening governor, and we are expecting him to do the ultimate completing the road as promised because as we have it before the scheduled time period for this construction of this road is just 20 months starting from July 2017 but unfortunately we find ourselves in the position we, fought, we were at that point in time uh, we, uh, when uh, a situation whereby people cannot even move out again and if you even look at the situation from Asolo down to Ishao it's a complete cut off whenever a train at the Afar bridge uh, actually, what is, what is really happened, when they started demolition, it was going well. But later, when they the, 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 were working on the road, we, saw, we have so many problems when there is raining. So we cannot move. We can, when, when there is rain, nobody will come out or go inside. So now, then we, uh, we, we, we pressurize government. Then we thank uh, our new governor, Baba Jide uh, Sonwolu. He, pro he made, you know, he promised that he will come and do palliative for us. He has done it. Then so second promise, he went to Imota for a rice uh, factory area. He promised that by ending of July or first week of uh, uh, August, the contract the contractor will come back to the site fully. But now we are just begging him. We are expecting that because this palliative they did when there is raining, the same thing will continue. While the site of the construction company is still under lock and key, one of the residents also draws attention to the issue of compensation to those whose houses were partially or totally brought down to make way for the road expansion. Uh, well, we thank Lagos State Government for thinking on, of us in our community and for this road under construction. The road started with the breaking up of uh, some houses for the expansion of the roads and the promise for compensation for so many of uh, the people affected. But only a few have been compensated. And many of our uh, people are falling sick because of the lack of the money for the compensation. And you know, a promise made, not easily, quickly fulfilled, that puts the morale of people. However, we know that um, because of the change of government, there is delay in the work. But we are appealing to the government that these people whose houses are broken should please be visited and be compensated in no soon time. Even the market um, is increasing. It will affect what they will use that money for if it is uh, delayed. So we are appealing that the compensation be paid and uh, the road work should resume in earnest. For now, the Ishawa Road project awaits the decision of the Lagos State Government, which the people hope will bring back the contractors to site. <laughs>